If you're an elementary school teacher, you understand that time is like gold. You are planning more than five different content areas every day, small groups, differentiated lessons or activities. And it takes a ton of your time to not only plan, but also to get all the activities together and to get them organized and set up in your classroom so that they're ready to go for the kids. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about how you can save some time by not standing in line at the copy machine. talked about turning PDFs digital on this channel. Now I want to take it a step further and today we're actually going to talk about how can we take something that was created to be a coloring activity and change it into a digital activity. So just to be clear, we are not talking about the kind of coloring activity where the objective is actually for the kids to be working on motor skills. So actual coloring is the objective. I'm talking about the kind of activities that you may have seen where kids might be solving a number sentence and then they color in the sum or the difference a certain color and they fill in a picture or coloring by sight words or some way that the coloring is actually a reflection of showing what the student knows. So the coloring is not the objective. It's just sort of a more creative and interactive, engaging means to show the knowledge. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Slides to take a coloring activity PDF and change it into something that students can do digitally. This activity can be done on a personal device, even if that device is not a touch screen. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sarah, and I talk about teacher tips, teacher life, and all things that make your classroom more targeted, effective, and engaging. If this sounds interesting to you, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss anything amazing. I want to show you an example of this growth mindset coloring page. It's something I purchased from Teachers Pay Teacher, and I will link this resource in the description box. So the objective of this coloring worksheet is to read each of the petals and determine whether or not it is growth mindset. So we need to create a way for kids to fill each of these petals with color. You could create an outline for each of the petals that the students would then fill in with the color that they want to reflect their answer. So to do that, you would go up to all of your line choices and and you're gonna choose the curve choice. Now what you can do is you have this little plus sign and when you click, it's going to start creating a line for you. But every time you click, it will stop the line in that place and then you can continue on from that place. So instead of creating a straight line, this one sort of follows you around as you are clicking through. And so you just click and click and click. So now what you would do, because it's filled in gray, is you would come up to the little paint bucket and turn it transparent. And now it's just this outline. And so as your students come in to read each of the different petals, and then they can fill that either with red or blue, depending on whether or not that they think it's true or false. So that's one way that you could do a coloring activity, is just to sort of frame in the space and then allow the students to fill in the shape of the outline that you create. So you can see that in the same amount of time that it would have taken you to stand in line and make copies, you can create your own digital format of a coloring activity. And once it's done, it's done forever. You never have to copy, you never have to hand them out. They're just right there, ready to go. I hope you found this content helpful and that it's something that you can use right away in your classroom. Thank you so much for joining me today and for watching the video all the way to the end. Please take a minute and just hit the like button to help other teachers find this video. It really actually does make a difference when someone hits the like button Button, it tells YouTube to show the video to more people like you. So that way I can reach more teachers. I hope that you have an amazing week and I'll see you soon. Bye.